now the Shiner Shy- Shy- District has gotten so much bad. Like like you said, the, 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 the lady on Facebook was asking you about the company to find out about the company. That company has gotten, and then, I don't know if you recall, but she did say to you that they don't care about what people on Facebook are saying about them. But that other people are, are under, they're understanding. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. All right. <laughs> Darth Vader in the building. I am your father. <laughs> hey, I got that all through high school, so you know it's nothing new. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. So, so thank you very much for reaching out to me. Uh, you, you, you said you have a story or or some issues with a with a particular uh, black ops company. Uh, that company being yeah. uh, Shy Logistics. Am I correct? Yes. And I saw a pod, one of your podcasts that you did on that company where you called them. And um, it just so happens that me and my husband, you know, we, we, we saw that podcast. And while you were asking the questions, every time she answered one, I'm, we're sitting there going, okay, but you're not telling any other part of that. You know, like, um, well, let's see, where, where do you want to start with this company? Because my husband and I actually drive for them right at this moment. Like, we're right now in on a, on a you know, I, I tell you what, you uh, it, it seems as though from the background that I got a little background uh about it. Just uh, just just mm-hmm. tell your, just tell your situation. I mean, you know, the ups, the downs, the pros, the cons. I mean, how long you been working okay. with? The, how long you been working with the company first? This is the this is the third week. This is just three weeks into working with this company. So let me just let the people know that. This is your experience with the company, which will probably differs from anybody else with the company. All right, so go ahead and uh, go ahead and tell your story, Vader. Okay, so um, well, we were what first off referred by a friend of my husband who started driving for the company. Um, of course, he when he started driving for the company, he had only been for a week. Uh, of course. Like I said, some of the, the the stuff that she said in the call, um, it makes it makes it sound like okay, we can do that. That sounds workable. Um, now, however, our story with Matt T is the, the guy who referred us because he was he is very upset to you know um, already looking for other employment um, because this company is a bunch of BS and they they they're liars. Um, okay, for one, they tell you that. They will pay for your your plane ticket up to a hundred dollars. Our favorite Korean's getting robbed right now. You serious? First he tells me his wife has the flu. Oh man, that bitch would work if she was dead. Then he gives me the coffee for free. Shit. He is getting robbed. How do you want to play it? The the transportation to the air the airport ride or train ride, however you get to them, they will take that from your face your first paycheck. You're paying for your trip there. This company don't pay for anything. So we made we made seventy we made seven thousand six hundred and eighty some dollars in the first week. We ended up we have not received any. In fact, we are a hundred dollars in the hole with this. Out of seven thousand six hundred and eighty eighty dollars, we are for one week are a hundred dollars in some in a hole with this. We owe them a hundred dollars. And that's not even them taking back all of the different the face the money that we're supposed to reimburse to them for the travel fees and and uh, the the tablet and escrow and all of that all of that stuff we we're still they took some of it off of this paycheck because there wasn't enough we're still like I said a hundred in the hole for seven seven thousand six hundred and eighty dollars we are a um a lease to own a lease to own you know, um, the owner operators, but even still, even if you're not doing the lease to the, the lease to own, if you're just working for that company, you're still renting that truck. You are paying for that truck. You will pay for the mileage. You pay for all of the mileage. So pretty much this company, they're not paying or giving you anything. Every dollar that you make, they're getting the dispatch. They make sure you make just enough money. 
How is they making sure you making just enough money? Uh, seven thousand seven seven thousand dollars. You you guys are you guys team or your husband drives and you you ride with him? No, my husband drives. My husband drives. I just take care of all their work. They brought me into orientation and had me download all of the apps that I needed to send them the paperwork. I go in and talk to them when we pick up loads. I get the paperwork. You know, I I take care of that end. So pretty much, I'm just his navigator. Okay. Um, okay. So it's seven. So. So he cleared seven within the first week of all the loads uh, that you guys took. Y'all y'all cleared seven thousand dollars in the first week. Yes, seven thousand dollars in the first week. And well, out, of that se- at, out of that seven thousand yeah. dollars, you still owe them a hundred. We were a negative hundred and thirty seven dollars, and that's even with the money. There's still other fees that we owe them that they just didn't try to take out of this check. They said they'll take it out of next week's check. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. so, I mean, what are they, what Uh what are they, what was, what was all they, God damn it, man. Um, What what was all the stuff that was. My husband said he could send you a copy of it. (laughs) I could send you, he said he would be happy to send you a copy so that you could see yourself, the breakdown for yourself. On what it is that they take that they've taken out of this. I mean, and then look. But, oh, another thing. Let me tell you. I have one thing in particular that I wanted to out from your podcast you did when you talked to her. Um, what was it? What What was the 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 um? Oh my God, I can't think of it. It just was on. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Um, the truck. She said the escrow. The escrow. They they charge you an escrow, two thousand dollar escrow, just in case you leave our truck on the side of the highway. The reason she particularly pointed that out is because the truckers have done that, several of them. Because when they get that check and see that they they have no money, and they're in the negative, they leave their shit sitting on the highway and walk away. I'm sorry, my watch. I'm sorry for my language, but they leave their stuff sitting on the side of the highway because it's like, why the hell am I going to drive for you? Why would I bring you back your truck? I'm going to pay the gas for that to bring you back your truck. So now the money that the little bit I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to get for this next week's paycheck. I'm y'all. I'm gonna pay y'all for that too to bring y'all back y'all truck and tell y'all I quit. So they leave them on the side of the highway. They specifically pointed that out for that reason. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to ask you this question. Um, uh-huh. You say you say you you rocking out with them. It's it's been three weeks. My question to you is, why are you guys still with them after that first paycheck was zero? Every day for the last ten years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? This is, this, though, so the first paycheck came today. It was today. This was this morning. We, it took us three weeks to get it. We got our first paycheck today. Yes. Yes. The first week that we started, they didn't pay us because they said that it was only half of a week. So they will put it on to the next paycheck. So they put it on to the next paycheck and we just got that paycheck today. And it was zero. It was negative hundred and some dollars. The wait, wait, I'm I'm uh, hold on, hold on. I, I I'm I'm confused. Hold hold on right quick. Let me pull over for a second. Let me pull over for a second so I can digest this. Let, let me pull over so I can digest this because I'm I'm not that far from my terminal, but I want to digest this for just a minute. So you guys got down there, y'all y'all had to pay your way to get there. Y'all had y'all had to y'all y'all got into the orientation. While y'all in the orientation, they they set you up with a lease option to purchase the truck. Okay. Everything 1099, everything you guys are responsible, including the escrow for the truck. Every you you guys from from week one, week two, up to week three, y'all did lows after lows, y'all ran the lows, not a problem, yada yada yada. To, today, Friday, payday, three weeks later. Now I can understand maybe about a week, uh, I, I, about a week in a hole. You know what I'm saying, or two weeks in a hole. But, but three weeks, literally three weeks later, to get a check that is negative 
a hundred dollars. Yeah. And then they give you they, they they tell you you can get an advance. After your first load is dropped, you can get a you can get an advance for the week. But you only can get a two hundred dollar advance. Okay, so you got did did you guys get an advance or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, we've been out here for three weeks. Yes, we had to. So you figure yes. two, four, so including the six dollars, which they're gonna take that back. Uh six hundred dollars. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Seven thousand dollars and y'all still owe them a hundred dollars. Yeah, plus whatever they didn't try to charge charge us. And they got bank full of fees, they don't tell you nothing about it. It's fees in there that we have no idea about, nothing that they mentioned in orientation. Um the lady in the orientation actually told us that um some of the fees that they charge, they will take them oh, the toll fees, all that stuff. Um but yeah, they say that the some of the fees that they charge, they sometimes will waive them so that they can make sure that you get some kind of money on payday. She guaranteed us this. We specifically asked her that. Will we get something? Because they did tell us that there was, you know, they would take money out for this or they would take money out for that. So our specific question was, they said that they, they would guarantee us that we would get some kind of money come payday. Um, payday here, and we got nothing. In fact, we're in the hole to y'all. Already into next week. <laughs> oh, yeah, and not to mention, we're already got 6000 and some to the good for next week. So if we made 7000 for last week and we got nothing, that 6000 that we got to the good that we just put the papers in the trip, the trip pack today, that means that we have nothing coming from that either. So pretty much we, we just driving to make them money. Okay. Uh, my, I, well, look. I, I look, Vader, your husband, Mr. Vader, I hope everything works out all right. But by the sounds of it, I, you know, I, I want to say give the company a try, I guess. But seven thousand uh, dollars that you guys it, it had to wait three weeks for only to get a hundred dollars uh, uh, and still owe them a hundred dollars. Not only that, you know, you still had to take out advances. So we're looking at about another two, maybe two, three, I mean, maybe about two, four hundred dollars. So that's that's five hundred dollars right there, along with the truck payment and all the other fees. So, yeah, you 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 exactly right. You you might not get a good paycheck that following week either. How how much longer you guys how much longer are you guys gonna gonna uh, gonna manage out? Because it don't sound like y'all y'all having a good experience over there. Drink the coffee; it'll make you feel better. Oh, well, see, we're 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 right now where what we're doing is well, like you said, I was gonna say give it a try because maybe that third paycheck might be better once they take what they. But but doing the math, my husband is very good with numbers. I mean, he could do it off the top of his head. It's not sounding good to him that we're ever gonna get no money from this company. So, the dispatch is only dispatching enough money that they get their payment. And, we're gonna go. yeah. Y'all gonna, so, I'm, I'm sorry know. to say, you guys is about to go broke with this, with, with this company, man. True, true enough. And so now, right now, my question is to them is, now that we're, our check was supposed to come today, and we're a hundred and some dollars in the hole to you. How are we supposed to buy the next check? We got kids. We got, kids, we got expenses. We got to eat while we're out here. How do you expect us to do that? Like you can I mean, I don't, my thing with this company is we're driving for you. You guys are making damn good money from us, but you're not making sure that we have the money to continue this. Like if we can't eat, we can't drive. So you're not making no money if we can't eat. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it just seems to me that you being owning this company and people are out here making you good money, you should make sure that they have money so that they can eat, so that they can take care of themselves while they're out here making you money. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it seems to me... It, it, that's what it's looking like. It's just looking like you're getting over on people because by the time the, per the, the person uh, realizes that they're not getting any money, it, they don't. They, you guys done made about ten, eleven thousand dollars off of them, and they don't care if you quit because the next person gonna come in and do the same thing, and they gonna make you about ten to 
10, 11, 12 thousand dollars. So you're just making money off of these people before they quit, and that's not okay. Nah, that's that's not okay at all, man. That's mm -mm. shy logistics you know, out you know, of out of uh where where are they where are they located at? Chicago. So they that is shy logistics. Shy logistics out of Chicago, Illinois, is another black ops company that's that's taking advantage of drivers out here. You guys gotta. You yeah, guys, pretty much. I, but you you guys was referred by you you guys was referred by a buddy of y'all's. He, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, but he had just started, so he didn't know. He had, he only been there for a week, and he knew that my husband was looking for a, a trucking job, so he referred my husband. But now he's saying the same thing. He's saying that I mean, my husband was just talking to him this morning, like, dude, I ain't get no money. What the hell? So he said the same thing. He said he's looking for another company to work for. So yeah, they told they say a referral bonus. It says it all on the back of the truck, but they don't give it to you. But that's to me false advertisement. On the back of the truck, so you get a sign over. Yeah. No sign over. Like this, pe this company is putting stuff out there in the front of the. Uh, the nothing about them is right. Nothing about them is right. This place is all out for themselves. It's about themselves. How can you? How? Can, I mean, my, really? How do you expect people to continue to make you money if they can't take care of themselves? I mean, and you ain't even. I mean, even with them knowing that we are a hundred and thirty-four dollars in a hole, they didn't try to make no offer on how to. Uh, exactly you and that's okay with them that they're not giving no money that's you know i i i just feel that i i just feel that some of these companies out here again like i said they you know they 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 true intentions are to take advantage of the drivers i mean you know that and that's why you know heavy heavy duty research is required especially for these black op companies because they they just coming out of nowhere like literally these companies just come out of nowhere like they come on facebook they come on instagram they over here offering 88 percent of the load yada 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 and and when you get, it makes it sounds all good and then when you talk to them they still, you know, gas you guys up. But then when you get up in there and notice that they're taking advantage of you, you know, now is, you know. Your coffee is normally made by Cato. Who the hell is that? He works on your father's cars and, and makes his coffee. You fired him and everyone else who works for your father yesterday. I want Cato here now. Now, the Shy Logistics has gotten so much bad. Like, like you said, the, the, the lady on Facebook was asking you about the company to find out about the company. That company has gotten, and then, I don't know if you recall, but she did say to you that they don't care about what people on Facebook are saying about them. But that other people are, are under, they're understanding when they hear the bad, the bad comments about them, that they have changed their name. Their name. They, have, they have changed their name from Shire Logistics to FB something because of because of the bad pu publicity right same thing with uh same thing from what i heard about vl trucking like vl trucking changed their mm -hmm. name uh a couple of mm -hmm. other a couple of other black op companies changed their names but see this this yeah. right here this this right here i'm i'm so sorry that this is happening to you guys but this right here happening to good people now i can understand now, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with, with, with black ops companies because some of them mm -hmm. are, are good for people that really need them because if they can't get a if they can't get a trucking job the legitimate way and they still want to drive, then a black ops company will probably be the way to go. But but for these companies to like really mess good people up, that's where the problem comes yeah. into play. Like this you guys are you guys sounds as though y'all good people y'all y'all took y'all y'all came on of another driver's affirmation and and now three weeks later y'all 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 out there with nothing y'all y'all out there with nothing right. we get every load that we've done we've gotten it there early every single one of them we 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 work our asses off when we 
started at this company, that was what we told them. We are here to make money. That's what we're here for. We plan to make a lot of money for the both of us, you and me, us. You know what I'm saying? That is what we came here for. And we're doing that. We're keeping our part, but we're not seeming to be making no money. It seems to us that we're making money for you. I mean, at least make some kind of effort to say, okay, these people are out here. They're a hundred and some dollars in the hole. They have no money. How are we going to eat and drive? How can we keep making runs for you guys when we can't do, I mean, you understand what I'm saying? You don't care if we just quit your company. It's Mm. Yeah, wow. I think that they should just say hell no. This is a company that I feel like they need to walk the hell away from. Yeah, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I hear uh, it. I, I think you guys. I, I, I think it's time for you guys to, you know. <laughs> Probably cut yeah. your losses and 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 yeah. and try and Fine. try to get with a you know try to get with another company. Uh, don't look All like logistics. don't look yeah. like don't look like Shot Logistics or whatever new name they going up under is is doing you guys any good. So no man. That's, not at all. That's crazy. All. But Vader though, man, I, I do appreciate you coming on, uh giving your experience, letting the people know. Uh, your experience with Shy Logistics out of Illinois uh, seems as though this company is not doing right uh, by their by by their drivers. We got this we got this young couple right here along with with the friend that 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 thought that the company was all right and he referred them to them and he's now like, he's. Wait a minute, no, the, the, our just our dispatcher, our dispatcher, another guy that he dispatches for that works for Shy, uh, for, for Shy Logistics, this white guy, he, we both had to go pick up a load from the same place. So he was like, well, why don't you guys introduce yourself, you know, get to know each other, whatever. So we did that. And the white guy, um, he, he called us this morning, too. It's payday. He, he said me and my wife were just talking about it, you know, about us is keeping on with this company or not. Like, he's pissed the hell off about it. So that's three of us with Shy Logistics that just now starting this ready to walk away. Okay. Nobody got a paycheck. And all of it is because Everybody of no paycheck. Got a home. Nobody got a paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's at home. This company set. But anyway, yeah, we are looking for other, you know, somewhere else to go. You know, but um, yeah. My, yeah, my husband has a clean drive record. He ain't got no left known his record. So, you know, we can go anywhere. It was just a friend of ours referred us to this one. And so that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, though. That's what's up, man. Like <laughs> That's what's up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you guys stay safe out there, man. And uh, I I I hope you guys find something else that's 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 gonna do right by I mean that's gonna do right by you. I really do appreciate you coming on and uh giving your you know your experience with the company and everything. And I hey keep in touch. Let us know, you know, let us know the next company y'all go to and, and see if they doing all right by you. I, I will do. Thank you. Thank you. You you very yeah. welcome, Vader. Take it easy now. Big G's got it locked.